Of all the nuclear-armed states in the world, Russia has the most weapons. Roughly 7,000 strategic nuclear warheads. 1,500 are on missiles, ready to be fired from military bases. 4,500 are stockpiled. 2,500 are retired, waiting to be dismantled. It's a major reduction from the Cold War years. 40,000 nukes have been amassed by the time the Soviet Union was nearing collapse. But the agreements which produced such significant disarmaments are under strain. The United States unilaterally withdrew from the Anti-Ballistic Missile Treaty in 2002. And recently, Washington and Moscow have accused each other of violating another cornerstone agreement of the nuclear age, the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty. When Ronald Reagan and Mikhail Gorbachev signed their names in 1987, they outlawed all land-based missiles that could strike targets between 500 and 5,500 kilometres. But Russia and the US both say each other's cruise missile systems, such as Russia's calibre class here, have been given secret updates so they don't comply with the INF Treaty. Vladimir Putin says Russia has only been developing air and sea-based intermediate-range missiles, weapons which the US has long held a superior advantage. We believe that we have only balanced out the situation. If someone does not like it and wishes to withdraw from the treaty, for example our American partners, our response will be immediate. I would like to repeat this warning, immediate and reciprocal. This non-proliferation analyst says such talk sets a dangerous precedent. If even these nations with the biggest nuclear arsenals are not ready to continue arms control and nuclear disarmament process between them, so it's a message to other nations that all the other, nation, other nations should uh, have their own nuclear build up. In other words, Russia and the United States have a special responsibility not to let a new global nuclear arms race spiral out of control. Rory Challens, Al Jazeera, Moscow.